So Yieldmax Ybit just announced their first distribution and is absolutely massive, over 80% distribution yield. So this is the Yieldmax Bitcoin Option Income Strategy ETF. Let's take a look at price return so far since this ETF has been out. So we're down today 3.19%. In the past week, it's down 0.96%. In the past month, it is up 4.75%. And the peak was on June 4th at 3 p.m. It was up 9.52%. And then since inception, this ETF is up 2.33%. So we've seen pretty nice stable performance so far from Ybit. And if Bitcoin price continues to go higher, this ETF will go with it. So I wanna know in the comments down below if you guys invest in Ybit and why you think it's a good investment for your portfolio. Let's take a look at the Yieldmax ETF's website. This is Yieldmax Bitcoin Option Income Strategy ETF Ybit. No distribution rate, but we'll take a look at that in a little bit. And the distribution details aren't uploaded yet, but the fund information, Funds Inception came out in April 22nd, 2024. Very small fund, 14.72 million in net assets. And of course, we have that 0.99% expense ratio. I want to take a look at the holdings with you guys and we'll go through what their strategy is and what the ETF they're actually doing the strategy on. But let's go into the distribution announcement that Yielded Max announced today where you could see Misty is distributing 106.33%, NVIDIA 101.82, great distribution from Kony 84.85%, and then Ybit here 81%. So you could see all of the distributions here. I'm sure you guys have seen this so far, but in today's video, we're going to go over Ybit. NVIDIA, nice $2.56, huge distribution from that ETF. Kony was $1.69. And then let's scroll down all the way down here to Ybit. You can see $1.30 cents per share and the current net asset value is twenty dollars and sixty cents that means it's an 81 percent distribution yield i also have a question for you guys in this video do you think why bit is going to get added into ymax i think jay said that it takes about a month after the di first distribution that it gets added into Ymax. But if we go into the ETFs tab, you could see Ybit is included into the Yieldmax covered call ETFs up top here. And then usually Ymax invests in all of these ones here. So that would definitely dramatically increase the distribution yield of Ymax. And the current distribution rate of Ymax is 43.34%. So if Ybit gets included as well as GDXY, I think this distribution rate will be over 50%, which really makes me excited for WiMAX over the long term because the more ETFs that they keep adding, the more income that WiMAX is going to be able to receive from the single stock ETFs, and then the distribution rate will continue to rise with this ETF, and that's why I think it's one of the best yield max ETFs to invest in. So let's go back to Ybit here. What they're doing here is a synthetic covered call strategy on Beto. They have all kinds of different shares as well as covered calls in here, different strike prices, as well as different expiration dates. And if we take a look at Beto here, this is the Bitcoin strategy ETF by ProShares. And honestly, I think that Beto is a better investment than Ybit and I'll show you guys why. I've went over this ETF before on the channel. So we're just gonna take a look at the distributions in this video. So you can see April's distribution was $1.14. May was $1.68. And then the most recent one in June here getting paid out on the 10th is $1.76. So why would you invest in Ybit if Beto is paying a higher distribution? I also wanted to take a look at total return with Beto. You can see this one captures more upside with Bitcoin itself. So in the past five days, it is down 0.92%. But in the past month, it is up 4.23%. And then in the past six months, you could really see this ETF taken off here, 60.28% in total return, year to date up 61%. And then in the past one year, just remember, this is a dividend ETF as well as a really fast growing, high yielding, share price appreciating ETF, 153.01 percent in the past year so this etf has been out for a while it did come out in 2021 at the peak of when bitcoin hit its 
previous all-time high, really suffered through the decline of Bitcoin, but then has really rallied back since then. So like a low point was on November 7th of 2022. Since the low point of November 7th, 2022, Beto is up 210.47%. So if you believed in Bitcoin in the past few years, this has been a great investment to put your money into, as well as receive great distributions from this ETF. You can see 2023 as well. They were paying some distributions, 14 cents, 10 cents, 46, 41. So not as large as we're seeing. When the coin price increases with Bitcoin, then you do see higher distributions from Beto, which is great to see. So we're going to see what happens with Ybit within the next few months, as well as the price of Bitcoin. And if they correlate, you know, pretty well, Bitcoin continues to rise. I think the share price of Ybit will continue to rise. So we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys invest in Ybit as well as Ymax. Currently, I'm not invested in Beto or Ybit, but I am invested in Ymax. And if Ybit gets included into Ymax, I'm going to be very happy and excited for the distributions to roll into the portfolio as well as get reinvested back into the portfolio. See massive share price appreciation with Bitcoin. So I do my own strategy with some cryptocurrency type stocks, which are mining companies. So you can see I have a 2050 put here, which I'm selling puts on Marathon Digital, as well as a $21 put. So I'm creating my own premium, which is my own dividends. And I'm doing that as well with Riot, a $13 covered call, and then another $13 covered call expiring in a few weeks. Another ETF that's kind of like YBIT is YBTC, the Bitcoin Covered Call Strategy ETF by Roundhill. This one has been out for a few months now. You can see distribution yield of 43.21%, so about half of what YBIT offered in the month of June. Let's take a look at the distribution so far for YBTC. You can see 30-day SEC yield 4.08%. Distribution frequency is monthly. Distribution calendar declaration date for this month, June 2024, is the 26th. Next dividend date the 27th and the pay date the 28th. So let's see if it's higher than YBIT's $1.37 that they just announced. Distribution history has been fantastic so far for YBTC. $1.81 was their first distribution. $4.12 was their second distribution. $2.04 and then $1.84 which was paid out at the end of May. So larger distributions than YBIT but a lower distribution yield because the share price is a little bit higher. So let me know what you guys think of Beto, YBIT as well as YBTC. If you invest in all three of them, I'm sure your returns have been absolutely massive as well as your distributions have been absolutely massive throughout the whole entire month and you're getting three different payments all linked to Bitcoin and if Bitcoin continues to go on a run in 2024, let's hope it hits $100,000 by the end of the year and if it does i'm sure your portfolios will be up huge i think ybtc and Beto are probably a better investment in ybit but i hope it does get added into ymax so i'm able to capture some of that performance in my portfolio so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think of all three etfs mentioned in this video and if you invest in them leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching